Hey everyone, test server of Honor of Kings just got updated yesterday, and it is one of the biggest update of this server. Keep in mind that content you see in the test server is for testing purposes only. Most of the features are incomplete and has lots of bugs. But eventually all the content will arrive in the main server. So without further ado, let's check out the new update. There is a new Easter egg event going on where you can get Wukong's mythic skin. But it is bugged and doesn't work. If you look at your upper left corner of the screen, you can see they increased the experience level cap. It is maxed out at level 30 in the official server. In your main profile section, they added a placeholder for new feature. It doesn't work at the moment. If you go to settings, you can see there is a new option called profile decoration. You can now customize your profile with cool animations. It might be available soon in the main server. They added some short introduction video for the new players. If you notice on your lower right corner of the screen, you can see they added a button for switching skin or info option. New tags are added in the shop. If you move to Lucky Draw section, you can see they added a new section called Treasure Draw. In this shop, you can get recall effects, kill animation, trail effect, and other stuff. You need Treasure Crystal to claim one of the items. To get Treasure Crystal, you need to draw a certain amount of times with Treasure Points. Treasure Point can be earned in the events, or you can exchange it with Gold, Arcana, Diamonds, and Tokens. It is similar to other Lucky Draw system, and if you're a free-to-play player, you can get lots of rewards from this shop. It is not fully completed yet, so the rewards might change in the future. In the Preparation menu, they added a new section called System Announcer. In this section, you can now change the in-game announcer's voice. Triple kill! Triple kill! Quadra kill! Penta kill! Your team has destroyed a turret! It's still in the development stage, and they only added one high-pitched voice. Other options are not working at the moment. You can expect new announcer's voice in the future update. I think it's a great feature, and I'm excited for it. There is a new game mode available. It's called Dreamscape Infinite. I wanted to try this mode, but didn't find any match. Now let's talk about something interesting. They added lots of new languages in the game. It was removed in the previous update, now it's back in the game. They added new improved languages for Indonesia, Vietnam, Malaysia, Thailand, Arabic, Spanish, Russian, and more. They added Turkish voiceover in the game. Some heroes' voice lines are dubbed in Turkish, but most of the heroes' voice are missing. Bilgi güçtü. Gerçek kibarlı asla konuşmayanlarda. Sevgi, sevgi dediğin tarifi olan bir şeydir. Her zaman tek bir gerçek vardır. If you look at the graphics option in custom settings. You can see they added HDR effects quality in the game. This graphics option is not fully optimized yet, and you will find lots of bugs after enabling it. They added ultra settings for gorge quality. It's still in the testing stage and not fully implemented yet. I will test the new HDR mode later in this video. Now let's take a look at the new updated map. I enabled the HDR mode for this map. This map looks more detailed than before, and they increased the size of this map. It feels more bigger now. Bush quality is also increased. You can see it's more detailed now. They removed the teleportation flower and replaced it with Primal Portal. You can teleport to any of your allied tower or minions with this. Primal Portal opens from 2 minutes of the game and disappears at 10 minutes. They added a firehawk on farm lane. It gives experience and gold after killing it. 
It stops spawning from 4 minutes of the game. Now you can gain extra farm after killing this Firehawk. They added some extra details around the map. I've got lots of friends! There's the seagulls, the starfish, the dolphins... I know. Don't be scared. The night is merely the prelude to dawn. The most perfect music Tyrant and Overlord are bugged because of the HDR option. Also, many in-game models are unoptimized for the graphics option. If you enable the HDR mode, you can see the rain effects on the map after 20 minutes of the game. They will optimize this feature in the future update. Killing spree! Your team has destroyed a turret. An enemy has been slain! Rampage! HDR graphics enhances the effects of all skin. You can get the maximum quality of skill effects by enabling HDR option. Keep in mind that this option requires a decent mid to high end device. It will cause lots of lag and stutter if you use a low end device. There is a new lighting feature added in game. If you enter a bush, it will brighten the surrounding area. The metal slug mentioned in the invitation should really enhance They added a cooldown option for Allied Avatar. Now you can see a short timer for their ultimate cooldown refresh time. If it shows an energy sign, it means they're out of mana and cannot use their ultimate. They adjusted the boot equipment system. Now you cannot buy more than one boots. It will automatically switch to different boot if you try to buy another one. This feature is still in experimental stage so expect more changes in future update. And that's all the content of new test server update. So what do you think about this update? Which part you liked the most? Let me know in the comment section below. And that's it for today's video. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, thank you for watching.